Chapter 14 His relationship with Cass, he couldn't sever. The hard feelings that had to be expressed made him physically ill. But he understood when he had to be tough and express himself and turn his back on girls and abandon them. You need a real good reason to abandon someone, he believed. And he had plenty of reasons to abandon her. But guilt chipped in like salt in a snowstorm and melted the ice shell he constructed to kill the love that had turned against them both every time. Love can be cruel. You discover it and treasure it, and it seems too good to be true. And when the high breaks, you gotta look closely and scrutinize the one who sits across from you, at the table, or on top of you, in bed, and realize that you really may not have much in common outside of the one dependency you've nourished together in laughter, in eye contact, stillness, and harmless power, struggles getting laid. But it's the bond that has you stay the night. It's the bond that had Will. So when Cass struck him after she read his diary and the entry about him and Bella, who he had taken in his arms on a sandbar in the Gulf of Mexico and skinnied with at night under a half moon, he knew the bond would have to be broken, and soon. But there was guilt awaiting him either way. The guilt of carrying on with a dying romance, and the guilt as consequence of the necessary abandonment of her. He got hard and icy with her at his apartment, told her she was a thief and a liar and a hypocrite. She made tears and confessed she was a liar and a thief, and he had shocked her horribly. She knew she was a hypocrite, but would not confess. Sat there in the corner of his bedroom by a pile of clothes and his post-World War swamp green Smith Corona typewriter scrunched up in a ball and looked up at him. As he looked down at her, he felt the terrible energy that had let him speak his mind and thoroughly. And she was just this little girl now, tiny and more innocent than Bella nude in the ocean. A little girl with her angst and lethargy, having tried and failed and tried and failed, ultimately having failed to rejuvenate him. He paced around the bed and looked down on her and tried not to feel too sorry and tried to remember the crap she put him through, how she burned him with a cigarette kicked sand in his eyes, told him she loved him and gave him a pill, then gave him another pill to shut him up because she hardly ever cared to hear what he had to say, let alone on uppers, and he knew it. Still, Will was more supportive than her therapist because he listened.